yourself leaving your unfulfilling? Um, I mean, a little bit, but quite honestly, I mean, we're going to take whatever we can get. We, we battled hard, played a good game. It's obviously a little heartbreaking uh, two seconds left to give one up like that, but um, honestly, I don't think I'll take it. You've had such a, uh, I'm not sure if there's a word to describe your month. You've had some really amazing performances. You've had, you've had some struggles. How do you, how would you capsulize the, the last couple of weeks for you? You've played a lot of good teams, been a lot of, uh, endured a lot of challenges and some, some, uh, some difficulties. Um, yeah, it's kind of up and down, up and down. It's, I don't know what it is, but some games uh, everything's hitting me, and then the next game everything's hitting me and going in. Or, um, but obviously it's a bit of a learning experience this year, so you just kind of take it game by game and hopefully you get better each one. Cameron, how do you feel your class has performed? freshman class? Uh, I think I think we've obviously had some ups and downs. I think uh, beginning of the year a lot of us uh, were kind of like feeling our way out maybe a little bit. I think uh, after Christmas guys have been starting to play better. Um, a little inconsistent at times but I think, uh, I think a lot of the guys are, are happy with their play lately and uh, we keep working on it and uh, play our best hockey near the end of the year. Back Andy. Kevin, what kind of steps did you guys take forward this weekend in your mind? Uh, one thing that we always try to do uh, in the beginning of the game is have a good start. And on Saturdays, the last couple of weeks, we haven't done that after a good game Friday. And uh, obviously, tonight we did that, scored in the first nine seconds. And uh, I thought we played a good first period, which is huge for us. If I tell you at the end of the game that you, you have more power play goals than the top power play team in the country, that you. Uh, you guys shut them down to a large degree in a five on three and in a five minute power play for the most part. You'd have thought you'd win this game. What what do you leave here going, just maybe not regretting, but just maybe going, we need to do that better? Uh, I just, I don't know, it's happened a couple of times against BU and tonight we just got to bear down uh, that last minute, get pucks out and block shots and eliminate sticks and we didn't do that tonight, which is unfortunate. Joe, what is it about Seth Ambrose? I don't know. I told him in the second period to quit scoring on me, but uh, turns out that didn't work out very well. <laughs> he's a great player. He battles hard. He's a big body. He gets in front of me. All I see is his numbers most of the time. So he's a good player. I don't know. Did he screen you on that first goal? Or what What? what was? Uh, uh, yeah, I probably should have been on a little step higher, but yeah, I couldn't see him. I'm kind of surprised he shot him. He said you and he have a little bit of a chirping match going on. Is that, is that mostly in fun, and has it gone on long? Uh, I hope it's in fun. No, he, uh, anytime he skates by my net, he always gives me a little something, and then I usually just laugh, so I hope it's in fun. I give it back once in a while, but I try to keep my mouth shut. Andy? Corbin, I asked this earlier. Welcome to the press conference, by the way. Sorry, the, uh, you know, you guys won the shootout. You guys do it in, in pretty dramatic fashion. You beat Minnesota at least in the shootout for the second time. But do you leave here with a little bit of an empty feeling? Um, I mean, I think after yesterday's loss, we did. But you know, after tonight, we're going to enjoy this one. And that's a much needed point there in the shootout, especially against a good team like Minnesota. Uh, you know, coming down the stretch in the Big Ten, last few games coming into the tournament, those are points that we're going to need to have. Kevin Mike talked about uh, Adam Rockwood making some steps forward offensively. Then, what did you see from him that, that caught your eye? Uh, for him, I think the biggest uh, aspect of his game is when he battles hard for pucks and goes in corners. And he was doing that today. He's moved his feet and he made a ton of plays, great plays. He set up my goal and he set up at least one more. I don't know how many assists he had, but you know he had a play, great game and battled hard. Uh, Corbin, can you describe what happened on the knee on knee hit and and? what the aftermath of that was. Yeah, obviously that's, that's a tough play. And I'm not the kind of player that, that goes out looking to do stuff like that or, or anything. And uh, I want to start off by saying like, uh, I hope my, my prayers are with, with uh, Riley there. I hope that he, he's okay and he 
back to playing soon if he is injured or whatnot. But you know, he came across the blue line in the neutral zone and, and you know made a little juke to the uh, outside, and I was just coming across. And I didn't move in time, and our our shins kind of hit. He got the worst of it. Like I said, I hope he has a.